Hi everyone, this is the practice placement into math 1431, uh, mainly for University of Houston students, number 26 through 30. We have to find the coordinates for this vertex, so we're going to write uh, for this parabola, and we're going to write it in vertex form. And that's going to be done by completing the square. So what I'm going to do is move, the way I do it is I move the three, this three over, and then... I'm going to factor out a negative 3, and I'm going to get an x squared plus 4 over 3x. All right, and then we're going to complete the square here. I'm going to complete the box, so let me uh, rewrite this. This is going to be um, y minus 3, and then it's going to be where subtracting 3 times whatever we put in the box because we have to add it to both sides so we take our B we're going to take half of 4 thirds and square it so half of 4 thirds is 4 sixths so with 4 sixths is 2 thirds and you square it and that's going to give you 4 ninths and you put four knives here. So, uh, clean this up a little bit. We're going to get y um, minus 3 minus 12 over 9 equals negative 3 times x plus half of 4 thirds is 4 six, which is 2 thirds. Yeah. The only thing I really have to do is take care of this. Negative 12 over uh, 4 is, or over 9 is um, 4 thirds. So I'm going to rewrite this as y minus uh, 9 over 3 minus 4 over 3. So this will be y minus 12 over 3 equals negative 3 x plus 2 thirds squared. So basically when it's in this form right there, your vertex is just going to be the opposite because it's the distance. So the vertex is negative 2 thirds comma positive 12 uh, thirds, which is what? Actually 12 thirds is 4. So we can put that as 4. Or you could have just taken this and add it forward to this side. All right. And then that would have been if you're used to seeing it that way in vertex form. Okay. Um, the next one, it says given the f of 1. Find, I mean, it says find f of 1 given this piecewise defined function. And so basically I'm going to look at my domain values here. Remember, this is your x values. These are your y values. Your input output well one doesn't fall in there one is not in between negative four and one but one is um, so I put one here one is greater than or equal to negative one so I'm going to input negative or input one in here so I'm just evaluating one and that's going to give me um, negative three plus two which equals negative one. All right? Okay, this one I left two slides for. They want you to simplify this, which is called the difference quotient. It's going to start you into calculus given this function. So I'm going to set it up here. Uh, basically what you're doing is three things. You're going to do this first piece here. So what I'm going to take, I'm going to take, and they also say something else on this. What was it? I forgot to write it down. Um, let me find it. Okay, I forgot to tell you. Um, they say x equals 4. So what I think I'm going to do, it doesn't really matter what you do first. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do first is just First of all, input this. So what this means when you use a difference question, and I have a whole, I have two videos on this if you want to look at this. 
Everywhere there's an X here, I'm going to input X plus H. So basically, X plus H plus 3 over X plus H plus 2. Now that took care of this part. Now we have to subtract the whole function. And the whole function is X plus 3 over X plus 2. And then it's all over H. Now I'm going to go ahead and input my 4. So everywhere there's a X, I'm going to put 4 now. So 4 plus H plus 3 over 4 plus H plus 2. And I'm going to go ahead and distribute my negative. Minus <coughs> 4 minus 3 over 4 <coughs> minus 2. Now I'm going to kind of simplify. These go away. These 4s go away here. My 2s go away. And now I'm going to have to deal with uh, this, this, and this. So what we have is H plus 3 over 4 plus H minus 3 fourths. All right, so I'm going to write it on the different on the other slide. So we have h plus three over four plus h minus three fourths. Now, basically, you have to know how to uh, do rationals. Oh, this is so messy. Sorry. So three fourths. Now, my LCD least common denominator is going to be four times four plus h. I don't like this one either. That's going to be 4 plus H. So we're going to multiply each piece, these three terms, by 4 times 4 plus H. So I'm just taking this and going to distribute the 4 times 4 plus H. This is over 1. So this is just going to be 4H, this first piece, 4H times 4 plus H. And this one, this will cancel, and you just have uh, 4 times 3 is 12, minus, and this one, this will cancel, so you just get minus 3 times 4 plus H. Okay, I'm going to simplify here. We're going to get, um, oh, this is all over H, don't forget. Uh, I always do that. For, don't forget the H we're dividing by. So we're going to distribute and clean this up. We get 4. Um, we get 16H plus 4H squared plus 12 minus 12 minus 3H. So the 12s cancel, and this is all over H. Now I'm going to factor out an H. Oh, I can combine these two. So what I have is... 16 minus 3 is 13H plus 4H squared over H. I'm going to uh, bring it over here now. Factor out an H, and I get 13 plus 4H over H. Um, this cancels, and so my answer is going to be uh, 13 plus 4H. All right? The next one is this kind and you can do this in so many different ways what I like to do right away is get rid of my negatives so what I'm gonna do first is uh, take care of this and get rid of that negative that just means I'm gonna flip my numerator and my denominator so my denominator becomes my numerator and my Numerator becomes my denominator. Now, I don't have it to the negative 3 anymore. That's just cubed. And I'm also going to go ahead and flip my negatives here. So, I'm just going to write this out. And these two right here, I'm moving. 
So I'm moving this one to the top, taking away the negative, and I'm moving this one to the denominator and taking away the negative. All right. This is all cubed. Now I'm going to clean up my numerator, and that's going to be 3x to the 16th times y to the 3rd over 2x uh, to the 8th, y to the 16th to the 3rd. Now I'm going to use um, the quotient property and simplify these two. So I'm going to get 3 halves, and there's eight. There's 16 x's on the top and 8 on the bottom, so that's just going to leave 8 on the top. And for this piece, there's 3 y's on the top and 16 on the bottom, so that's just going to leave 13 on the bottom, on the denominator. Now just cube everything here, and we'll be done. So we get 27 x. Remember, you're going to use your product uh, power property. It means you multiply these two. That's to the 24th over 2 cubed is 8 y to the 39th. Okay, so that's that. Of course, you can do it any way you want. You could have taken care of the inner part and then flipped it and, and done whatever you wanted there. All right. The last one, I'm going to just solve for x. So we have 4 to the 4x plus 2. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So that gives me 32. Now before I can solve, I have to do the same basis here. Until I'm getting tired. All right. So I'm going to change my base to 2. So 4 is 2 squared. And that's going to be times whatever's in my, my exponent. And 32 is 2 to the 5th. Since my bases are the same, all I need to make sure that match are my powers. So we set them to equal to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So we get 8x plus 4 equals 5. I'm going to subtract the 4. So you get 8x equals 1. And then divide by 8, and you get um, x equals 1 over 8. All right? And that's all for this one. Thank you, and you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.